My next guest is an Englishman who's been an actor for years in films, uh, I think 30 years. His first film was In Which We Serve, Noel Coward's In Which We Serve, uh, and that was made in 1942. And his last, I hope it wasn't his last, most recent was a 1972 production uh, called, uh, I think it was called Ten Rillington Place. It was about, from the book, about that strange murder, and I think that was the title of the film. Uh, anyway, he's directed two films in recent years, Oh, What a Lovely War, and one that I hear is a stunning film that I have not seen, although I tried to see it. It's called Young Winston. Will you welcome, please, uh, the gentleman who produced this mammoth undertaking, and I'm told this turned out a brilliant movie, Mr. Richard Attenborough. <laughs> Great to see you again. Thanks. Say, I understand the movie's so good, I, 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 I'm going to make a second a attempt to see it. <laughs> yes, I feel, I feel full of apologies. You know about this. I, I do I'm not supposed to blurt this out, of course. <laughs> but now, this is a sad story, but you know, in my line of work, you seldom get to go out to a movie. So I have to go to special screenings where I'm put into a little room and they, it's very lonesome in there and they serve me a lunch sometimes and I see the movie all by myself. But it's fun for one with my dismal existence. <laughs> And I went last night to one of these special screenings and took the elevator up into the dark office building in the middle of Manhattan. And uh, there was no one there. No movie, nothing. And uh, there was a cleaning lady who said, you ain't gonna see no movie here tonight. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Are you trying to keep the movie from me? No, 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 Dick. No, I, I, I hate to name names, and so we mustn't do that. Oh, okay. But I have the feeling that somebody gave you the wrong address. Somewhere the machinery... Somewhere the uh, giant machinery of Columbia <laughs> creaked a little, yes. I guess so. But I'm sure the general public will find it quite easy to get. I hope so. <laughs> uh, it's such a mammoth undertaking. How do you have yeah. the nerve to start day one on something as big as uh, a film like this about a large segment of Churchill's life? Well, the nerve really was uh, Carl Foreman's, not mine. I mean, he, he started it about 10 years ago. He went to see the old man and persuaded him to let him have the uh, rights to his autobiography, My Early Life. And Churchill. I only, in fact, uh, Churchill, yeah. The old man. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I only uh, came into it about uh, two and a half years ago uh, when Carl asked me, in fact, if I would like to direct it and play Lord Randolph. But you don't um, play Lord Randolph. No, I don't. No, uh, Robert Shaw plays Lord Randolph. That's right. He, he mentioned that, I think, the last time he was here. Yeah. Well, why, how could you turn down such a juicy role? That's a very good question. A question my children are still answering. Yes. Asking me, I should say. Well, I mean, uh, directing a film, as you well imagine any film, uh, a prerequisite, really, is the ability to be able to judge the entity, to be able to judge the whole. And... Uh, if you lose that objectivity, then the whole tempo and shape and rhythm of the film can collapse. Mm -hmm. Well, Randolph is a hell of a big part and uh, would have required an enormous part of concentration yeah. separating from directing. Plus the fact that we show Winston from the age of seven up to 26. Now, a seven-year-old boy needs quite a lot of care from the director and a lot of his scenes are with Lord Randolph. Oh. So that if you've got to try and split your concentration between the little boy and your own performance and directing. And I don't really think it works. I think there are one or two geniuses who've managed it, and I ain't no genius. I mean, uh, Chaplin and Wells and yeah. Olivier under certain circumstances. Yeah. yeah. You know, I did see a trailer for the movie, or preview, as we yeah. used to call it in the Midwest. Yeah. And it has giant scenes in it of yeah. action and all of that. Yeah. Are those the most fun to direct, the big scenes where you can organize like a general? And... No, I don't like those. You don't like those? Well, I mean, yes, I do like them, but being an actor, I suppose the most rewarding part is working with the actors. Yeah. And if you have actors of the caliber of the boy who plays Winston, a new young actor called Simon Ward, and then Bob Shaw, who we've mentioned, and then Annie Bancroft, with whom I'm in love, uh, I mean, I think she's probably the greatest actress of her generation. I think you can talk about... Tulin and Moreau and uh, Vanessa Redgrave and Glenda and so on. I think Annie is probably the best actress of, of her time. She's wonderful. You don't see her oh. enough. Uh, absolutely people right. Would want... Absolutely right. One doesn't. It's very sad. I don't why, quite know why. It, does she have trouble deciding whether yes, to play a role or not? Yes, I think she does. I, I had a, a bad time persuading her to, to do this. I, I, 
wrote to her and she said no, and I phoned her and she said no, and I came to New York and she still said no, and then I phoned twice more and finally she said yes. <laughs> But uh, she is very, she, she... You've just described my social life in high school. But you did finally, uh, yeah. you did finally uh, get yeah. her to say she, yes. Unless yes. she can believe utterly in the characterization that she's going to work on, absolutely, she yeah. will not touch it. And the result is, of course, that she begins in performance, I think, where most of us... Uh, leave off. I think she's Hope she's afraid. watching, didn't it? <laughs> uh, I, uh, people sometimes, you know, people might ask, why is an American playing Churchill's mother? Um, yeah. But the answer would be that an American was Churchill's mother. That's right. Yeah, yes. I, I, you forget that. Yes, Jenny yeah. Jerome, her name was. Yeah. You know, you also forget that people uh, despise Churchill, some of them. Oh, sure. And you always think of him now as a revered saintly figure sure. Uh, sure. to the younger generation, sure. one they just missed who died yeah. recently, uh, relatively recently. Uh, and there were people who hated his guts. Uh, oh yes, all still through do. his career, and there's still, still some. Oh sure. Yeah. I mean, we, when the film goes down to South Wales, sometimes I mean, the, there are really still even protest marches against it because he had a very hard time with the miners in the 30s, and the memories are uh, very long. He, he, you see, I think the extraordinary thing about him really was the fact that although he had very firm right wing in our country, I mean, Tory opinions, mm -hmm. uh, he transcended all that for the vast majority of people during that 39-45 period. And that prior to that, he was absolutely in the wilderness. So the controversy didn't quite attach itself immediately to that period. And the result was that when he did take over, when he did take control of the country, when for most of us who were, I mean, I'm in my 50th year now, so I remember very well those 30s. I remember the Spanish Civil War, and I remember Abyssinia, and I remember the barbarism in Europe, the Nazism and fascism and so on, and somebody had to say halt. And uh, it fell to my countrymen to say halt, to start with. And this man who had been ostracized in the 30s was suddenly welcomed back, and he gave us our tongue. And he gave us our image. And he coined great phrases. And so he becomes, to most of us, uh, beyond politics. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't agree with a lot that he did. My, my sympathies are very much further to the left. But he transcends that. And so he holds a very, very special place for us. So that even some people who hated him liked him in a strange sure, way. Sure, absolutely. You're yeah. quite right. Yeah. Yeah. You, we don't have time now. We will only come back. But did you meet him? Never? Yes, I did. Oh, tell us about that when we come back. I'd love to. <laughs>